headed to Kenosha for a orientation because I start my radiation next week. And you're wearing a dress. Oh my gosh, it's so warm out right now. And I do have a dress on. My legs are crazy white, but I don't care. <laughs> We're in the orientation room, just the two of us. <laughs> There's apparently other people out there, but they're not willing to come in right away. We spent Memorial Day weekend mostly working in our backyard, recutting our old tomato beds and cutting down the black elderberry bushes that didn't survive over the winter. We edged the two beds with paver bricks and planted a variety of flower seeds from a kit our niece Katie gave us. I'm here today for my dry run on my radiation treatments. So I guess it's they're going to put me in the machine that they'll actually be radiating me from. So I guess I'm just going to be positioned in there and they said it could take 30 to 40 minutes. So this will be the dry run and then tomorrow will be the radiation. My cousin Richard, his wife Leslie, passed away um, last time I was here. That's that, that morning, I guess, I got that text that she passed away that morning. So we had her wake and funeral last week. And um, she uh, was, it was very sudden. She had lung cancer in November. She got diagnosed. And then in April, it had spread to her brain. So she only lasted until the middle of May. And you were been corresponding with her? Yeah, her and I have been corresponding. She was, uh, we were emailing each other and then we would send each other cards through the mail and praying for each other and kind of being there cheering each other on. And it was nice to have that time to, to talk with her and her funeral was absolutely beautiful and she had, uh, she was so organized. She had, uh, like a farewell to everybody and it was just absolutely beautiful, so... And you were telling me about a song? She said she had she died listening to her favorite song, and I'm not sure what it is, but then when we left the church um, after the whole the procession for everyone to leave after the service was done, then a uh, celloist was there, and he played Dancing Queen. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cool. I mean, so she, so she tells me to take a seat and you got to lay your head right into that position where the mold starts. And then my arms are molded in up here too. So then I got to put my arms in there. And then it's kind of like there's even a mold that goes over like your hand goes underneath here. So it kind of comes up to hold your arm into place so you don't move during the radiation. And then it's all open. It's not enclosed. It's not like a big tube. Um, there's a there's a machine that kind of slowly comes over and then positions itself and when it was taking pictures of me um, so then it, it uh, goes over and then actually kind of goes underneath too then you know the whole time I have to lay with my head this way and um, not move at all completely stay still they put a rubber band around my feet so my feet are, are held together. We're at the hospital in Kenosha. Mm -hmm. And you're going to get radiation. Yep. First one. I don't think it'll, I don't think I'll even notice anything they say. You don't see any effects until maybe next week or the week after. And then it could be like kind of a sunburny. Yep, sunburn. So I've got a bottle of cream that I'm going to, I can't put anything on now before and um, so when I'm done I'll put cream on right away. I've been doing that every day since they, since they gave it to me. So then when I got in there um, they had to really position me quite a bit just get me right. So I mean that was like 15 minutes of just getting me positioned and she said you know that normally doesn't happen. She said uh, we just didn't have your that little form laid out right on the table. I said, can I keep my eyes open during this show? Oh yeah, because I thought I had to keep my eyes closed. <laughs> I was freaking out, like, is this laser going to hit me or something? But, you know, she's like, oh no, you can keep your eyes open. And then they, they walk out of the room and she said, there's cameras, we have cameras, we can hear. So if you need to need us to stop, we'll be able to watch you and, and we can hear you from the other room. So...
Smoke them. Wow! Oh. Taking a picture of you. Utah has <laughs> candles. The thing you too about Karen being candles. Mark, who's having Karen. cake? I'm having the pecan and stuff. Okay. I just go in, say, here I am. Kind of show them my bracelet, and then go into the dressing room, change, put on a gown, and uh, wait for them to come get me. Then they come get me, go into the back, and they position me into the mold, and then tape this gel pack over my scar that they're going to radiate and uh, get that all set up and then I get my radiation. I said, what about that piece of um, rubber that you put on or the piece of uh, gel that you put on? I said, my husband was asking me what that was and they said, what it is, is it's like a protection over the scar. It's kind of like an extra piece of skin because um, so that way the radiation doesn't go any deeper because of that incision being a weak point um, you know then it'll help so the radiation doesn't go deeper than what it should go. Cause it checking out Karen's garden today. Um, she's got broccoli. I forgot to put broccoli and I know a friend of mine said that broccoli was very easy to grow and very rewarding. So next time I'm gonna have to make sure I uh, do broccoli. So she's got broccoli and it looks like cilantro and cucumbers. Arriving at radiation. We will see. We got our little ways talking to us. <laughs> Trying to be, become a grown up at some point. Great. So I'm headed to get, get my fourth treatment of radiation. And we just walk down the hall here and <laughs> go <laughs> into the, the yeah through the maze. <laughs> so you'll see the machine and the, the mold that I go into that I was telling you about. Just going back. Yep. Okay. And this is it. This is the table I lay down on. And then there's a special mold that was everyone has created for themselves. You know, that you have to I have to lay with my arms up overhead I showed you. And then that's where the actual radiation, the thing spins around, then at some point it goes underneath and does all that. It's really, uh, they get me positioned and line me up and then um, when they're ready to go, then they all leave the room and it does its thing. So that's the hard table I was telling you about. It's very narrow and hard, but it's very <laughs> uncomfortable, yeah. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. <laughs> It's all good. My friend Sheer is here. <laughs> Finally reunited, hanging out in Racine. And we're at a cool little restaurant that we found here in Racine. Um, we haven't had our lunch yet, but um, it's just a cute little place. Circa Celeste, I think that's what it was called. We got a falafel on pita. And looks like some couscous, a little salad there. And then this is the falafel wrap. And this is a salad with the falafel and a little couscous there. Falafel for everyone. There you go. <laughs> Plenty of food. Shabbat shalom. <laughs> Mark's going to play some wonderful tunes for us. We just got done eating our fabulous lunch. What did you think, Sharon? Was it good? Awesome. We were in a little private room back yeah. here. First Friday, just hanging out, having fun at the 
festival. Listening to some music, went to the art museum and had some gelato. So now we're just kind of walking around and hanging out. <laughs> Are you having fun, Sharon? This is our city. Oh, yeah. You like it? It's kind of fun. There's a lot to do here in Racine, isn't there? I know. <laughs> I've got to come back once a month for yep. that first Friday. <laughs> So you've been going to radiation for a while now. How many treatments have you had? Um, today was number 13. And you go every weekday? Uh, every single day, Monday through Friday. And how's that working out for you? It's okay. Um, this week, uh, Wednesday, I noticed a little um, itching starting on my skin. Very little. It's kind of like when you get sunburned. And it's starting to uh, get a little bit pink. Um, and then I noticed my throat being a little scratchy and uh, a little trouble swallowing yesterday. I noticed that. So those are just uh, some of the side effects that could happen. But not, nothing to be too alarmed about, I guess. <laughs> it's beautiful in here, this shady darkness. I like it. I hope he knows about those little cement barricades that are down at the bottom. Sharon was here last weekend and I introduced her to Mark Marin, um, somebody that we really like, uh, his podcast. I've been addicted to it, listening to it whenever I go for a walk. He is just a wonderful um, person. Is able to be honest and get some honest interviews out of so many people. And I've been introduced to so many new people in my life that I would have never really cared about. But listening to them on what um, WTF um, have just been great. So I've become a fan. I've got a crush on him, a crazy crush. He's just this wonderful person that's funny and smart and talented and um, I introduced him to Sharon to show her about the podcast and she went home last week back to Chicago and then all of a sudden this week I realized uh, Mark's coming to Chicago. He's from LA so um, he's with this comedy festival that The Onion was putting on so I quickly emailed her and she's like, oh my God, I want you to come down. Please come down. The two of us will go. So that's what we did yesterday. We went and in my brain, I kept thinking, I want a picture of her and me and Mark together. We went to the show. We were way up in the very top. By the time she got tickets, it was like late. So we got almost virtually the last row in the area that we were in. There was nothing more. Um, got the seats. Saw the show. It was a great show. Funny. Wonderful. And afterwards, I just kept thinking, let's hang around. Let's try to see him. Let's try to see him. So we did. We hung around. Everyone else was leaving. There was a big group of people that didn't leave. And he was right there, down there taking pictures with everybody and I was floored. I couldn't believe seeing him. I know it's crazy. He's a he's a person just like you or me, but I just I have such admiration for him that I was just thrilled like a little schoolgirl. <laughs> so got in there. I got he put his arm around me. I just felt so good. Got the picture taken and at one point when we were leaving, there were still a bunch of people. I just kind of looked at him from across the room. And he caught my eyes and we locked and I just, I felt like there was this connection. And uh, he looked out and he kind of put his hand up and said, th and I, I just nodded at him and he nodded at me and I said, thanks. And it was like, it was crazy. It was like, it was just him and I in the room. <laughs> so that's what we've been up to. We're watching our kale, Swiss chard and wildflowers grow. We've also been watching this family of finches right outside our dining room window. The school year has come to a close this past week and uh, the reconstruction is starting on Mitchell School Gymnasium. Um, I'm also halfway through, more than halfway through my radiation. So thanks everyone for watching and take care.